Hey everybody, it's Saturday, February 18th, 2012. Thanks for stopping by. Once again today, I would like to talk about the Moron Mantra. And, uh, you know, there's two reasons why I want to do that. First of all, because the, the Nazis who have been pushing this lately have been trying to get me to stop talking about it. Uh, several of them have asked me to stop. So I'm not going to stop. And second, uh, you know, as long as these people are out there pushing their propaganda, uh, knowing that it doesn't make any sense, knowing that it is a lie, somebody needs to be out there debunking it and uh, letting people know what's wrong with it and who these people really are and what their agenda is. And now, like I said, they know that this, uh, this moron mantra is a lie. They know it doesn't make any sense. And, you know, when I, when I uh, posted the link to Anti-Racist Canada, which thoroughly destroys the moron mantra and dismantles it bit by bit, uh, several of the Nazis went and looked at it and commented on that, that, um, that video. And all of, you know, basically their comments have just been taunts. They, they don't care. Uh, they looked at the video. They saw that it, that, that it had been debunked. They know it's a lie. They, they know it's been destroyed. They don't care. They're not trying to argue. They know they can't. They know they cannot defend the moron mantra. They know it's a lie. And so their response is just to taunt and to, uh, you know, call names, which... I'm not really putting on my channel anymore. There's, there's no need to do that. There's no need to post people just calling you names and, and taunting you because they have no argument. That's not what my channel is for. So I'm not posting that kind of stuff anymore. But, uh, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten many, many death threats. I've gotten many threats of violence, uh, both uh, overt and indirect and of course, none of them have been backed up. And when I call these people out and say, okay, let's get this party started, they always either change the subject or back down. But, you know, the fact is they, they want to threaten you. They want to threaten violence. Um, they're just not willing to back it up. And they want to uh, pretend that they're the ones that have the irrefutable argument, but they know it's not irrefutable. And that's not the point. They, they know that it doesn't make any sense. And if you argue with them, they're just going to keep repeating the same old stuff over and over again. And they don't care what you say. They don't care about logic and reason. Uh, they're, they're sort of like a cult. You know, uh, logic and reason is not going to change their thinking one bit they they just uh, are going to go back to the same slogans and repeat them because they're not thinking they're not using their brain they are sort of like a religious movement and they have these mantras now a mantra which is what they call it a mantra is something you repeat without thinking about it so even when they name the thing to begin with they already knew what it was. It was something that is a lie that's not supposed to be examined, not so supposed to be thought about, but just repeated until it brainwashes people. Okay. And like I've said before, and like I've told them, you know, no matter how many times you repeat it, it will never, ever work unless the, uh, the United States suffers a severe catastrophe and there is violence in the street and people are desperate and fighting for their survival then it has a chance actually to um, to succeed and they do have a chance to um, you know to battle uh, against people like me and either win or lose which I intend to make sure they lose but you know they do have the the uh, possibility of winning and like I've told them, um, if they do win, it's their worst nightmare come true. Because what they're going to do is they're going to destroy this country. 
They're going to be attacking other countries, which we already are. We're already attacking many other countries, just like Nazi Germany was doing, by the way. And when they destroy this country and they're attacking other countries and they're committing crimes against humanity, the world will come down on us like a ton of bricks. And the foreign soldiers, probably the Chinese and the Russians, mainly, um, you know, when they when they take this country over and end the, their reign of terror, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to round up all the Nazis. And what they're going to do is they're just going to look at YouTube. They're just going to look at the, the logs uh, of YouTube, and they're going to find out everything about everybody. They're going to look at Google. Uh, they're going to look at everything. And so they'll get your name, address, shoe size, and worst fears, and social security number, and everything there is to know about you, every single one of you Nazis. And they're going to knock on your door, and they're going to round you up, and they're going to fucking hang you in public. That's what they're going to do. That's what's going to happen if you get what you want. Okay? So I'm just telling you, you know, and I hope you don't listen. I hope you really don't listen. And just put that stuff out there. Make it be known what you are, you know, and let's just see what happens. Let's see how it ends up. Okay, so, you know, um, other than that, what I, what I basically want to do is I want to point out the fact that these people are not, I mean, they're very specific about not mentioning who they are, that they're Nazis, and they're also very specific about not giving any solutions to these problems that they're outlining, okay? So they've got these three problems. And, and this is the, the white genocide, okay? The, the, free, the, the three problems that are causing the white genocide, okay? Number one, black people exist. Number two, occasionally white people intermarry with black people and produce uh, miscegenated babies. And number three, uh, some people disagree with their ideology. Uh, some people are not racist. Now, they've given me the solution to number three already, okay? Many, many times, and that is murder. Anybody who doesn't agree with them is murdered, okay? What's going to actually end up happening to them eventually? They're threatening to do that to everybody who doesn't agree with them. Okay, so that's the, that's the solution to that. Now, they haven't they haven't really um, come up with the solution for num problems number two, one and two, black people existing and black people intermarrying. And I've asked them to come up with some solutions, and so far they are just totally at a loss. Okay. Now, one guy did mention succession. So the South can secede from the Union, but that's totally inadequate. That doesn't do anything. Seceding from the Union does not get rid of the black people, nor does it prevent white people from marrying black people. Okay, so now here is my suggestion. These are the only solutions that I can think of to your problems. Okay, the, the solution to number two is to ethnically cleanse the United States and Europe, get rid of all black people, all brown people, Anybody who wasn't born here would be forcibly deported to the third world. And if they resist, exterminated. Okay, so that is solution to number two, ethnic cleansing and genocide. Okay, now the solution to number one, uh, you know, that doesn't solve their first problem, the fact that black people exist. And that's what they're alluding to when they say that, that we're a minority and we shouldn't be a minority. Okay, that means that the problem is that black people exist. Now, the solution to that is genocide, to wipe out every human on the planet who isn't white. Okay. Now, uh, if they can think of some other solution, you know, I would invite them to offer it forth and let me hear it. Okay. I want to hear uh, you Nazis give your solutions to the problems that black people exist and that black people occasionally intermarry with white people. Okay, I want to hear your solutions because the only solutions that I can think of are genocide and ethnic cleansing and totalitarian ethnic states, which totally exclude black people. Okay, so first of all, you have to 
uh, you know, forcibly deport everyone. Then you have to make sure that black people never come to your country. So because if they are there, they can interbreed just like that. Bang. And you've got another miscegenated baby. OK, so then you can never allow black people to come into contact with white people. That means white people must be shut into that country and never allowed to leave. No vacations for you. You stay in your white country and you never see a black person your whole life. OK, now that's solved. Number two, number one, all those black people are still outside your country and they're still the majority. So what are you going to do? Nuclear Armageddon. OK, that's the only thing I can think of. First, you make a huge genocide and ethnic cleansing. Then you nuke most of the world. OK, that solves your problem. That makes your moron mantra, uh, you know, complete. That means that you have solved the problem that you're alluding to in your moron mantra. Now, if you've got any other ideas, offer them forth and I will destroy them because those are the only ones that make any sense. Like I said, succession does not do it. That doesn't make all the, ma the, the black people magically disappear. Succession will not do it. So let's hear your ideas. If you actually are willing to state the truth about what you want to do. Thanks for watching.